The Words of This Life with Apostle Grace Lubega. When knowledge is the stability of your times, it's the stability of your times. It's what defines what you're going to be in the world. As you read this scripture, it is the responsibility of the word to make you if you give it opportunity. So what's the secret? Get this thing in. Get your Bible. Make it a personal habit to study the word because you're up to something in this world. People must look at you as a wonder that is up to something. You must be up to something. That's why we pray in tongues. Every Christian must be up to something. You just can't be a normal life. Are you there just for, uh, why do you live? I don't know. No, you know. And that's why God desires to build a certain character in you. That's why the Bible says, if you faint in your day of adversity, your strength is small. I don't care whether you looked like you had something, you really didn't have it. I don't care whether you seemed like you had it. We have developed a culture in the church where we can speak too much, but do too little. And there comes a time where you have to get tired. Listen, you have to get tired to lying to yourself. It doesn't matter how much you think, you know, let me tell you, if he's the anointing, he's the anointing. If it is the presence of God, he must do what he must do. If you're talking about glory, it must be glory. If you're talking about healing and breakthrough and answered prayer, it must be evidently answered prayer. Listen, we've talked too much. That because we think we can talk, therefore we think we know. But listen, many people in the first place, there wasn't much to them. They just had to talk. So when Paul tells you that this gospel is not of mere talk, but even even as might, power, mighty to save, he experienced the life of going past speech to demonstration of the Spirit. The Jews seek after a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. There are certain people. You can never tell a God you can't demonstrate. I don't care how wise you are. There's a place the apologetic can speak to me on the line of wisdom to reason me out to know God. But there's a place where he needs to prove God past apologetic. Have you been provoked to a place where you must prove God? If you have never, I pray by God in Jesus' name that you'll be provoked. It doesn't matter how much degrees you have, PhD, Master's, Theology, in that there's a point where it stops to be theology to theo demonstration. And you either know God or you don't know God. And that's the character the Lord wants to build in you. And for more of this, join us every Thursday at Umalugogo from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Venero, make manifest.